Hey guys, I'm uh, out here in the shop today. I'm getting ready to start working back on my mouse droid. Um, as you can tell, I've done some trimming here. Um, most of the top here has been trimmed. I'm working on the bottom right now with my uh, trusty tin snips. Uh, goes through ABS pretty easily. Um, it's uh, This is an ABS shell, and the inner side here is a uh, 3d printed frame I originally was going to use a wood frame but after I got my printer I decided this was my better bet it's quicker and easier and um, I got a little work to do I think things didn't line up as well as I wanted them to but some sanding we should be okay um, to clean this up I'll use my hand sander I'm just gonna go around and smooth this out uh, first, I need to cut off some more of this uh, extra. Uh, the top I've been pretty well done with. I just need to use my hand sander and kind of clean up and flatten this line out. But uh, I'll, uh, we're going to work on this first, and then we'll move on to some other stuff. Now... As I'm going over this with the tin snips, what I'm doing is in your frame needs to be glued into your shell to do this, I think, appropriately. But what I do is I take this and I just kind of glide around my uh, frame and let that be my guide. Um, that way I don't cut down too far. And uh, just go in there and trim out as much as you can because you don't want to have to sand. Take away, you got to take away some of this extra so you don't sand all day long. So. Your hand will start to hurt <laughs> after a while. But. This is the best way I can. I mean, you can use a Dremel, it'd probably faster, but I don't know. I'll, I've always used tin snips for my stuff, especially with ABS plastic. It goes by pretty quick. It does leave kind of a jagged edge in some places, but like I said, I'm going to go back over it with a. Um, I mean, that's pretty. That's a pretty. Uh, straight cut right there kind of jagged there but I mean it's quick I don't have to run a power tool and I think we're ready for our sander actually let's see if I can get that into frame there for you go so yeah now this won't be white this will be black this all will get a coat of flat black eventually. So even if you cut a little too high, like I think there was one spot where I did. I thought I did. I might not have. But I'm not really worried about it being seen because it's all going to be black and it's going to be very low to the ground. So, yeah. I mean, there's a little room for error on this. You know, I'm making it as movie accurate as possible. But, you know, this is a fun little droid. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let me get my power sander and we'll start doing some sanding. Okay, we sanded down these edges all the way around. Um, I didn't video this part because it was a very complicated and I'm not sure what I've done wrong, but the 
frame on the inside of the uh, two shells isn't matching up and clicking down like it's supposed to. It's supposed to go right over this little ridge right here, which I hope you can see. I'll try to zoom in on it on when I edit. But there's this little ridge right here, and it's supposed to go up on the inside. And uh, when I glued everything in, it, it it's not perfectly squared, so I can't get this thing. I've, I've mutilated the inside of it. This was PLA, so it melted pretty badly when I cut it, but I trimmed it out and um, tried to get everything to line up, but it's still not working. So the only other thing, because this is all glued inside the shell, so there's no way to, I don't want to have to start over again. So what I'm thinking about doing later is trimming out this piece, because all these little holes here are places for magnets so I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to go that route I may try some more fittings and try to do some more sanding and try to make this work because I do like that groove it's nice to have something there but the magnets would still hold it too so that's kind of where I'm at right now um, the next big thing is is we're going to be working with putting the um, RC car in. This is the Trax Bandit. Um, I need to go in and put sh shock absorbers in here to hold down the shock so it doesn't bounce all the way around. And then um, I got to change the wheels out and then we're going to try to figure out where to cut out the wheels on the bottom. So that'll probably be the next video. Um, this is a little shorter than I was expecting it to be. I ran into some more issues than I thought I would. So um, I think that's where we're going to stop for the day. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And I uh, appreciate your all's uh, uh, viewing and subscriptions. It really means a lot. Um, Check back and uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more to do on this here shortly. Um, again, thanks and y'all have a good day. Bye.